Dear students, hope you are all safe and sound. Today we are going to discuss a new vocabulary lesson. Our lesson is called Try Something New. I know you would be interested and engaged with me in the lesson. The objectives of our lesson are Identify the meaning of extreme sports. Recognize different types of extreme sports. Differentiate between usual and extreme sports. Infer the meaning of the target vocab words in context. Recognize and classify the sports verbs collocations play, go, and do. Use the target vocab words correctly through context, different activities, and games. Finally, construct a paragraph using the target vocab words and ideas related to extreme sports. You were asked to watch this video as a flipped classroom and to answer an activity sheet based on this video. What is the video about? It's about different kinds of sports. These types of sports are dangerous and unsafe. These types of sports are not like the usual sports like swimming and jogging. They are called extreme sports. Now I will show you some pictures and I want you to guess the name of the sport. What is the name of this sport? Wave surfing. What about this sport? Mountain climbing. And this sport? It's called skateboarding. This sport is called bungee jumping. This sport is called snowboarding. This sport is called ice skiing. This sport is called tram boarding. This sport is called sky diving. This sport is called parachuting. This sport is called wingsuit flying. This sport is called mountain biking. Finally, this sport is called rafting. Okay, now I want you to tell me or to describe to me the people who play extreme sports. How can we describe the people who play extreme sports? What are the adjectives we can use to describe people who play extreme sports? Adventurous, challenging, courageous and brave. How can we describe extreme sports? What are the adjectives we can use to describe extreme sports? Risky, dangerous, thrilling and exciting. The title of our lesson is Try Something New. What do you think this title, Try Something New, will be related to? It will be related to extreme sports, as people practice extreme sports to try new kinds of sports. Why would people like to try something new? Because people feel bored from doing the same things repeatedly. They like to try something new to feel excited, to have fun and to kill boredom. Now I want you all to open your full blast book on page 8. You were asked to listen to the text carefully through the CD and to answer exercise 1 in the book. Match the pictures with the words. So, snowboarding, picture 3, karate, picture 8, aerobics, picture 6, jogging, picture 2, mountain biking, picture 5, sky surfing, picture 1, athletics, picture 4, pool, picture 7. Now, what is the meaning of snowboarding? Yes, snowboarding is the sport of moving across the snow on a snowboard. Karate is the sport in which people fight with hands and feet. It's based on self-defense. Aerobics 
energetic physical exercise often with a group of people listening to music. Jogging, running slowly to keep fit. Mountain biking, a sport in which participants ride specialized bicycles on hills in rough ground. Sky surfing, the sport of jumping from an aircraft and surfing through the air on a board before landing by parachute. Athletics, a group of sports that include running, jumping and throwing. Pool is a game in which the players use a long stick to hit balls into halls around the edge of a table. Now I want you to sort out the usual sports. So the usual sports here are karate, aerobics, jogging, athletics and pool. What about the other activities given here? Yes, snowboarding, mountain biking and sky surfing are considered extreme sports. I would like you to have a look at the reading text. Where can you find this text? You can find it on the internet. What do people usually use this text for? Yes, they use it for chatting with each other. So this text is called an internet forum. An internet forum is a place on the internet where people can discuss topics or exchange experience with other people. It's an online discussion found on the internet. Let's explain the meanings of the important vocab words in the text. Extreme. Extreme means unusual or very dangerous. Snowboarding. Snowboarding is the sport of moving across the snow on a snowboard. Take up means start doing something. Water sports like surfing, swimming, water polo. Surfing is the sport of riding on the waves using a surfboard. Sky surfing is the sport of jumping from an aircraft and surfing through the air on a board before landing by parachute. Tramboarding is the sport of riding a tramp board on a trampoline. You are asked to read the text carefully and answer these questions as a flipped classroom. Here are the answers of these comprehension questions. Now I'm going to read these sentences and I want you to notice the similarities between them. Do you go snowboarding? I play tennis. I don't do judo. I go swimming. I don't play football. Do you do karate? What do you notice here? What do we add after the verbs play, go and do? Yes, after the verbs play, go and do, we add sports. What about go snowboarding, go swimming? What do we add after the verb go? Yes, after the verb go, we add sports that end with ing. Watch this video to know more about the verbs play, go and do. Hey, what do you do? Do you play, go or do? Today, we're going to learn the correct use of the verbs play, do and go. This video is for English students, so let's start! We use the verbs play, do and go with the sports and activities. Here is information you need to know to use them correctly. Play. Play is used with ball sports and competitive games where you play against another person. For example, I play tennis every week. Do you like to play soccer? Go. Go is often used with activities that end in ing. You go somewhere to do something. 
For example, my father will go fishing this weekend. They used to go hiking every morning. Do. Do is used for recreational activities and non-team sports, where you don't use a ball. For example, I do yoga after work. We do aerobics at the gym. Now is your time to practice, so let's go! Complete the following sentences using play, go or do. Now you can notice the way we combine certain words together. This is called collocations. Collocations are combination of words that are often used together. Using correct collocations will make your conversations sound more natural. There are certain verbs that are commonly used with sports like play, go and do. They are called verbs collocations. Let's have a look at the verb play. Play is used with ball sports. Like play football, play basketball. Play is used with competitive games where we play against another person. Like play tennis. Play is used with computer or table games. Let's have a look at the verb do. Do is used with fighting games, like do karate. Do is used with non-team sport and games that do not have any ball, like do athletics, do aerobics. Let's have a look at the verb Go. Go is used with activities that end with ing, like go swimming, go jogging, go surfing, go rafting, and go diving. Thank you, my dear students, for watching.